All right, so this is my TTO2B. Um, previously, I talked about how I put the connector on this thing wrong, fried it, ground fault on this uh, Tamiya Tamio ESC. Anyway, so ground fault protection blue on that. So I got fancy with this, and I kind of regret it. Um, I know I'm probably doing something wrong. Um, I'm relatively new to this hobby. Um, but this is what I've done so far. So it's it's a little bit kitted out, this thing here. Um, it's the Plasma Edge 2 kit. Um, and so I've got a Max uh, 10, Hobbywing Max 10, and then a 3300 kV um, motor in it. Um, I've done other stuff just to, just stuff that, uh, replace stuff that my son has broken on it. Not by driving it, but by driving his car into it, which is the indestructible grasshopper right there. Um, but uh, the other stuff that I've done to it, I've got the carbon damper stays, the fancy Tamiya shocks, way overpriced, but super cool. Um, yeah, and then the, the full turn buckle kit. Uh, so what's the problem? Um, I keep chewing up gears keep chewing up the spur gear and uh this thing is fairly hot i don't have it running on you know the maximum torque setting or anything it's in i don't know kind of like tame mode but it's still like i try i got the i tried to get the um the high speed gear set and it's still like it's chewing them up like big time chewing them up and i think it's because in these things they've got the the thing where you can have like I think like a 16 through 20 um, tooth pinion gear and you only have specific slots where you can actually set it um, I'm running the 17 in it right now but when I run it on the 17 setting um, I've got the stock spur gear back in it now when I run it on the 17 setting it just um, yeah you can hear it you can hear the teeth slipping um, and I'm being fairly gentle on this one because that's the only spur gear I have. Well, until today, I actually ordered another high-speed gear. But I'm kind of hesitant to put it in until I get, I don't know, maybe a manual adjustable um, motor mount so I can um, dial in the mesh just right. But it's just not... I, I, I don't know. Is it too much power for like a TTO2B? Yeah, I don't know. So uh, I think where I'm at right now with this thing is I'm considering getting... Just another one of these. Put the stock it's over here. Yeah, this is it. Put the stock can back in it. Just run it like that. And then get, I don't know, like a team associated or some buggy to stick all this business in because it is quite quick when uh with uh with this in it. I've only run it on 2S and um even before my son completely damaged completely blew off my wing. Um, I couldn't keep it on the ground. The slightest little bump and it's up in the air. It's pretty quick and that's on the team kind of torque setting. Anyway, that's that. So, uh, what am I going to do? I don't know. Probably going to rip these out. Go back to just a normal thing, which is kind of crazy. These are, these are like 40 euro. <laughs> like, they're not, there's not much to them, but they're 40 so they're relatively expensive um i did try and actually bridge the ground fault um because it's just a big fat ground pad um that runs across the side of the uh, pcb so i did try brushing it down and um and just jumpering it but uh, it won't go there's something somewhere um in the PCB or in one of the chips or something that's saying, nope, this thing has been fried. It will not work again. So, uh, so anyway, I'll probably shell out the 40 euro, grab another one of these, put it back in, kind of run this thing stock and then get something fancy like a Kyosho or a, a team associated or something and, um, put all the power into that. And then maybe once this COVID crap ends, I can actually go out and run it on a track but uh anyway uh, other than that great great little buggy um these shocks are fantastic um i know they're a little bit pricey but um in my mind they're they're worth it 
Um, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's my TTO2B, which my son affectionately refers to as Ground Stabber on account of the spiky wheels. Anyway, see ya.